In this video, I want to talk about the namespaces and how we can utilize them in Unity when writing some code. Generally, the namespace keyword is used to declare a scope that contains a set of related objects, and you can use namespaces to organize the code elements to, and to create globally unique types. So basically, uh, namespaces can allow us to have duplicate names, so we can have our namespace dot uh, monobehavior, and we can have monobehavior in the unity, but that's one of the uses. Another one is to put the common uh, classes or common types into a separate scope. In this inventory system project, we have used the model view controller to separate the UI, so the UI page, so what we see in, when we uh, play the game. So here are the UI elements that we want to use to display the data about our UI items. But at the same time, I have the model, which is scriptable object that represents the item and the inventory itself. And in my data file, I can preview the data of this model, but this is a script. And this is a, basically a custom data structure that I do not want to have anything in common with the uh, UI because it doesn't need to know about the UI and the UI doesn't need to know about the model to display the information in its fields. And to connect those two elements, I have created this inventory controller. And this script will talk to the model as well as to the UI, so it is dependent on both of those. If I open this script up, it will have two dependencies, UI inventory page and the inventory SO uh, script that is custom data structure. So it has the dependencies on both of those, but it is outside of any namespace. So if I wanted to separate my inventory system from other parts of my code, what I could do is select, for example, this inventory controller, right click on this and quick action, and I can uh, use uh, the move to namespace, uh, quick refactoring, and I can create, for example, inventory namespace. If I click OK, now my class will be put into the inventory namespace. If I go to the UI inventory page, right click and go to the definition, it is also outside of the any namespace. So again, right click quick actions and move to namespace. But I know that I want this to be separate from my model. So from the data structure that I have created. So I can type inventory and it will give me the hint that I already have the inventory namespace. I can add dot UI. And now I'm going to put this inside my UI namespace of the inventory namespace. So now this is separate. This is the UI part of my inventory. If I go back to my inventory controller, now I will see that my inventory controller is using inventory UI to be able to access this uh, inventory uh, UI inventory page. If I delete this, Although it is in the inventory namespace, I cannot really use it. Type or namespace uh, UI inventory page could not be found. And to use it, I need to right click and explicitly say uh, to my script that I want to use this library inventory.ui. So the whole point of this is now that I can go to my inventory SO, so our uh, custom data structure. And if I want to try uh, creating UI inventory page, so my UI, I do not see anything like this. I have uh, some remaining classes that I need to add to my namespace, but I do not see the UI inventory page script, so I cannot access it without explicitly telling uh, that I want to use this uh, class. So this is a very light way to split my code and to uh, remove any dependencies that I do not want to have. If we right click and try to create the namespace, we are going to only see change namespace to. It thinks that the create asset menu is some sort of a namespace. So what we can do is simply type namespace and we can type inventory and we should have the hint that we have this inventory dot and we can call it model. And now we have our namespace and we can move our script okay into this namespace so now nothing should change but if we go to our inventory controller we are going to see that it cannot really have the reference to inventory so we need to right click on this quick actions and say using inventory dot model namespace to be able to use the inventory so and now again if we try to import this inventory so inside our ui inventory page class 
we are not going to be able to because it is outside of the name series so let's type try typing inventory so we do not have any way to use this okay so this is the idea here that uh, it is not only about uh, avoiding uh, duplicate names uh, but also to avoid uh, unwanted dependencies so let's just to finish it off let's go to the inventory ui inventory page and i'm going to select my uh, ui inventory description go to the definition i'm going to right click on this quick action move to namespace and i want to move it to inventory ui great i'm going to go back and one thing that uh, last thing i have is the ui inventory item right click uh, go to the definition right click move to namespace so, so quick actions move to namespace inventory and again the last selected namespace will be here so okay and now if i file and save all i'm going to be able to go back or actually i have this item so as well uh, let me move it to namespace inventory and i want to have this in the inventory model namespace and i will move it here Control x Control v save this file save all and basically there is nothing fancy here uh, it is just about organizing your code i can still press play and if i press i everything should be working as expected in the next video we are going to start implementing more functionality uh, to our ui and to exchange uh, better information using our inventory controller between the inventory model which we also need to expand with other functionalities like stacking different objects onto separate stacks okay see you in the next video